amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day because today at the Young's house, GDM is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a homemade chili sauce. This chili sauce right here is amazing. It's so easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And if you make it Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my homemade chili sauce before. I'm going to make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some ground meat. I've decided to use an 80-20 ground beef and I'm using about two pounds here, okay? You also will need, of course, some type of hot dog because you can't have chili sauce without the hot dog. You need the hot dog. So then we have some buns here, some sharp cheddar, any kind of uh, shredded cheese you wanna use will do the trick. We like to use some mustard on our chili dogs. You're gonna need some chili seasoning, okay? And then right here we have some beautiful vegetables. We have a green bell pepper, a nice sweet onion, and we have some tomato sauce, okay? Alongside of our chili dogs, we're gonna have some cheese popcorn, and you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can make everything taste delicious. So right here we have some garlic powder, black pepper, salt, and I'll tell you what we're gonna use that apple cider vinegar for. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple. Yeah, so tasty recipe. I am so excited to share with you all how easy it is to make this delicious, very simple chili sauce. Okay, so now here's the first thing that we wanna do. Go ahead and get your burger cooking. Okay, so I have my burger here. It's cooking on a medium heat, and I wanna cook it until it's golden brown. And uh, what we're gonna do is definitely drain the oil. You wanna drain that unwanted oil after it's done cooking. Let's put some bell peppers and onions in. It's gonna give you great flavor and it's gonna give a great color as well, okay? So we're just gonna chop it up just like so. I hope you all are having a great day today. Tell me this. Tell me this in the comment section below. When's the last time you all had a good old chili dog? The world loves chili dogs and Gina Young is here to show you how easy it is to make this sauce. You don't have to go out and buy the sauce that's in the can. Although there is one chili sauce that comes in the can that I happen to love. But here's the thing, if you can make it homemade, your family and friends will love you for this recipe. Trust me when I tell you. So we're gonna chop this up just like so. And when I come back, we'll get started chopping up our onions. Now that we have the bell peppers chopped up, let's go ahead and chop up some onions just like so. And you can see, I'm just using a half of the onion. You don't wanna overwhelm the situation with too much onion, okay? So I'm just gonna do a number like this and chop that baby down just like so. And here's what we're gonna do right away. We're gonna turn around and put these onions and bell peppers in with the burger that's cooking. So let's go ahead and do it. Just like so, let it get nice and cooked up with the ground beef. And listen, if you want to use like a ground turkey, a ground chicken, absolutely you could. It, it would be delicious. Okay, so now that I have that in, now's the perfect time to season. We're gonna go right in with some onion powder. Nice amount. Black pepper. And we're gonna use a little tiny bit of salt. Your loved ones can put, you know, a little more salt in it if they want to, okay? And now I'm gonna talk about what we need to use this for. Something really interesting. I don't know why, but for some reason, anytime I make a hot dog, I like to put a little bit of maybe a cap and a half full of vinegar. It doesn't have to be apple cider, although that's what I'm using today. Any kind of vinegar. Put it in your water next time you make some hot dogs. Makes them taste delicious. So let's make our way to the stove behind me. Get started on our hot dogs when I come back. Let's get our chili dogs, go or let's get our hot dogs going. <laughs> We're gonna put a cap and a half full of vinegar, just like so, into our cold water. It's going to give it great flavor, like I said. And I'm just going to boil them until they're fully cooked. Let's go ahead and chop our burger down, just like so. Uh, you know, honestly, because you don't want huge pieces. When you go to make uh, chili sauce, you don't want really big pieces of burger. So try your best, do what you can to get that burger really chopped up. Okay? This is going to help and assist get it golden brown as well. Keep in mind, I have this heat on a medium heat, those bell peppers and onions right now. 
you're letting off beautiful flavor into the meat. Really makes a difference. So let me tell you all where I got this recipe from. Believe it or not, I got this recipe from my husband. So he had a childhood friend. That childhood friend's mother, uh, Miss Jean, would make amazing chili sauce. And when I met my husband, he told me one day, he said, I want some chili dogs. I pulled out a can of chili sauce and he said, that's not what I want. And I thought, oh my goodness. So he gave me the recipe. I've learned how to make it and my family goes totally nuts over this simple recipe. It's so delicious and I promise you, once you eat one chili dog, you're not gonna be able to stop. You're gonna go back and back and back for another dog after another dog. So our burger is fully cooked. The peppers and onions are cooked and I've drained the, the oil already. Let's go ahead and put two packets of chili seasoning right in. The reason why I'm using two packets is normally the packets will tell you. On the back it'll say uh, one package per pound. And since we have two pounds, we're gonna go ahead and use two packets. Mix this in just like so. And then the next thing is, we're gonna put in your favorite tomato sauce. I happen to absolutely love Hunt's. I love the flavor. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's get some put in right now. Now's the perfect time, okay? And you know how much you need for chili, for chili consistency. All right, let's start off with a little bit. Mix it up and then we can always add two, okay? This is, I believe, a 32. Uh, this is a 29 ounce, okay? Let's go ahead and put the whole can in, just like so. Right, it's looking good, nice and thick. You never want a chili that's gonna be runny, okay? So if yours is runny, let it cook for a nice amount of time so that sauce can reduce down a little bit and get thick again, okay? So take a look at the consistency really quickly. This is what you're looking for when you think about the perfect consistency for chili. Now listen here, if you make um, your chili dogs and you happen to have extra, take a can of, um, red kidney beans, throw them in here, and the next day you can have chili, okay? And honestly, it's that simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let that simmer, simmer here just for a little bit, and then we'll turn around and grab a spoon. We wanna taste it and see how well seasoned it is. If at any time you feel like it needs to be re-seasoned, then you just go in with a little bit more salt, some black pepper and garlic powder. We let our chili sauce simmer for around about 35 to 40 minutes. And now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and assemble some chili dogs. I am so excited and my family is also. All right, get down in there just like so, okay? Now, I want you all to come in real quick. Look at the consistency that we've achieved. Nice, thick chili sauce. That's what it should look like. Look at that, perfect, and it's so flavorful. Now, I do wanna tell you all something. I put some sugar in here. You do not have to, okay? But if you wanna take a little bit of the tang off, you know, that comes, you know, that little bit of acid that comes with the tomato, put just a little pinch or two of sugar in there. It really makes a difference, okay? Look at that, mm, mm, mm. That bad boy look good like that already, okay? I got some jalapeno cheddar popcorn alongside. Okay, and here at the Young's house, when we make up chili dogs, we like to have a little bit of mustard and onion on it as well. So we're gonna do a number just like so. Let me know in the comment section below after you make this chili sauce, what you think about it. Let's go in with some mustard. Just a little bit, don't get crazy with it. Oh my goodness, it might be closed. Let me open it, I'll be right back. Come on, must come on mustard. Look at that, not too much. You don't wanna overwhelm it, but you need that mustard, okay? A little bit of fresh onion. That is what you call a corny, do corny dog. <laughs> Coney dog, Gina Young style. Make you some. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, homemade chili dogs. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, to the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer. You all get that first bite. 
Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Come on in. I know you want to take a bite. Look at that. That is what you call a homemade chili dog. Look at this. I know I called it corny dog earlier. That was so funny. It took it, it took everything in me not to laugh. Take a bite. Let me know what you all think. As always, God bless you all.